Salut, I'm Peach. Today I give you five ideas of macro flash diffuser that you can do by yourself using inexpensive materials and stuff that you probably have at home. And then I will compare them to five other flash diffuser among the cheapest one that you can buy. So today it's all about macro photography and uh, I will try to be quick, go straight to the point and not make you lose too much time. The first one is a 6 liter plastic water bottle, very durable and very light, that I paint in black. The second one is um, 12 chicken nuggets uh, box with his uh, plastic cover, very simple to do. You probably saw already in internet the famous uh, Pringle uh, flash diffuser and uh, there is many versions of it and we will just do the simplest one. Here there is a kind of pop shield and that's actually the simplest uh, among uh, the five flash diffusers that we will do today. And last but not least, I ordered recently from Celens a kit, a cleaning kit, so to clean the camera and the lenses that I have. And it came with that uh, opaque plastic box. So why not try to make a flash diffuser with it? So this one is the most dangerous and the most complicated to do. You want to cut the bottle with a certain angle. To do so, you will mark four dots on three different stages that you see on the bottle to trace a line, as you can see on that video. Then you can cut the bottle with a cutter or good scissors. Just don't put your fingers on the way of the blade. Or even better, put on some thick gloves. And then with your scissors you try to equalize and make the edge even and flat. Then comes the hardest part. Cut the neck of the bottle with a cutter. It is better to do it with the bottle in the position that you see here. Then you check if the flash can fit inside the bottle. If not, you will enlarge it with your scissor. But remember to cut only on the left and on the right of your future flash diffuser. Then you want to add a little bit of scotch tape to prevent any scratch on your flash. When it's done, you take some aluminum foil You simply glue it and stick it inside the bottle. Like so. And you go ahead until you covered it all. Then you take whatever translucid opaque materials you choose as a diffuser for your flash diffuser. In my case this is a packaging foam. You draw a circle about one centimeter larger than your flash diffuser. You go ahead and cut the circle. After that, you tape your diffusing material to the bottle until you get 
the final result that uh, I painted in black. Don't forget if you want to make two small holes and uh, add an elastic for more stability. For the 12 chicken nuggets flash diffuser, you need to find a small box that will fit your flash. And you will need a box in cardboard material. Uh, this one has already a cover, quite opaque, but we will add some uh, packaging foam. So you take your small box and you start by measuring more or less what you will cut. You want it to fit perfectly your flash. Then you want to cut inside the box with a cutter the shape of your smaller box and I'm lucky because uh, it fits perfectly. Of course you can add uh, some tapes if you want. And uh, in th that case we will uh, add a packaging foam inside the flash diffuser. So you try to cut a circle a half a centimeter smaller than your plastic cover. Then you glue the packaging foam to the plastic cover. And uh, just like that, it is done. And of course you can add all the adhesive uh, tape you want to make it more sturdy and durable. Here we have two sprinkle box, one uh, bigger and one smaller. The smaller will fit perfectly my uh, small uh, flash and the bigger will fit also perfectly my bigger flash. So you try to measure using your flash uh, more or less uh, where you will uh, start to cut that, that uh, sprinkle box. And you start to draw a rectangle as you can see on the video. It should be about half of the box, of the sprinkle box, that you will cut away. You start to cut the box, it's not, it's a lot more easy than to cut the plastic bottle. And you can see that inside it's uh, all shiny. Then you want to cut uh, a paper to fit uh, perfectly the inside of your sprinkle box. And as you can see, now you have your uh, sprinkle box flash diffuser ready. So in this case I'm using a printing paper, but feel free to use any other uh, materials that you have at your disposition in your house. 
this one is the more easy to do you you find a big piece of plastic that uh, is not too soft and you draw that shape that you see on uh, the screen that look like a tooth you cut uh, that uh, shape with your scissor you add uh, two small holes and then you fix an elastic uh, like so and that's it you have your uh, flash diffuser For the translucid Selens box, you want uh, to stick inside some uh, shiny scotch tape. You start, you start by measuring like so, and then you cut uh, five or six uh, little pieces out of it. and you stick them all inside that box except for one face the one uh, without too much uh, writing on it then you cut a piece of foam to the right dimension so it can stick uh, perfectly inside the box like so and now we have to cut a re rectangle inside that shape a rectangle inside the rectangle and this is the a part where you have to be a bit careful and precise And then you have that uh, new shape and of course my uh, flash fits perfectly inside that uh, new shape. Then you glue it all around and you squeeze it inside your Selens box. And of course you can try to find some uh, better glue than the one I have uh, in that video. You can add some uh, scotch tape and that's it. So now that we are done with our five handmade flash diffusers, we will compare them with uh, the cheapest among the cheapest flash diffuser that you can find on Amazon, eBay, Lazada, maybe in your um, local photography shop. And they are very cheap. This one is less than $2. Here we have a $3 one. I didn't uh, open it yet. This one came with my uh, flash diffuser. This one less than $5. I tried it already and this one didn't open it yet less than eight dollars the more, more expensive we will try today I will uh, find some insects that are a bit reflective I will keep the same settings for every flash diffusers uh, f11 uh, shutter speed 100 ISO 200 but I will change the power of the flash to make sure I have every time the, uh, the correct exposure like I would do in the real life uh, because anyway we are not interested in exposure we are interested in how uh, the flash diffuser is actually diffusing the light so those are the ones that I found online except for this one that came with my uh, my KMK320 which uh, I like because it's very light and very small this one is the one that I was using so far just a piece of cloth uh, double coated 
with a black top some uh, shiny material inside at the top on the upper part uh, here we have a pulus that I never tried yet and uh, it's probably too big uh, we will see that later this one is kind of the same uh, as this one it's a piece of uh, material plasticky material and that you can attach to your camera with a velcro and this one uh, it's uh, this one is like a pop shield <laughs> so I like this one except that the hole is also too big for my uh, small uh, Laowai lenses but uh, I have great hopes also with this one very light and easy to if you find a way to collapse it it came with a small bag Ooh, I made it and very easy and convenient to use as well so let's try that uh, so to make that test I found a little uh, dead uh, wasp and uh, medium size so I will just make a portrait of it and uh, we will start without any uh, flash diffuser all right so we will put them in uh, three categories bad okay and good for the extra super good, I'm afraid you have to spend more money or time. So this is the one uh, without flash diffuser and you can see the small harsh highlight of my flash. And this is not looking very natural. Here you can see a big difference. Here we have the water bottle flash and you can see that the transition between the highlight and the shadows are very gradual this one is okay this one has been taken with the 12 uh, chicken nugget box and it's kind of uh, similar with the water bottle one this one is very bad this is the Pringle box there is some difference the light is coming uh, from the top on this one and uh, this is a very harsh light there is no uh, graduation and uh, also I had to push the power of the flash to a half of the power which is a lot so this was very bad but you can probably uh, find another material instead of the printing paper there is also a big change in the coloration so this one has been taken with the simple plastic sheet and uh, it's, I think it's a quite good result here we have a good gradient it looks uh, soft to my eyes I would say that uh, here we have a more than okay result this one taken with the Celens box is uh, also just okay a light coming more from the top of the insect which could be interesting in some situation so this picture has been taken with the flash diffuser that I was using since one year now it's quite okay there is some uh, gradient here between the highlight and the shadows here I think we have something good very soft light touching the eyes uh, good gradient and this one is definitely I think the best so far let's move on to the next one and here again we have a bad one this is the simple piece of plastic I would say that if there is an improvement from the no flash diffuser to this one it is very minimal and here I'm not very sure I will have to make more tests with this one all right so I think we have two winners and uh, there they are uh, just a piece of plastic with three elastic the more easy to do and the one that I found online for only five six dollars and this one have a metallic structure around and the material is like uh, 
the same you would have in an umbrella, I think, or a raincoat, some plasticky uh, cloth. So I hope you liked my little video. I hope it has been helpful to you. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of things, because it helps my channel to grow. And I see you on the next one. Cheers. A bit better. And that's the... So... Ow. All right, so I think we have two winners, and that's the two. That's the two Pope Shield.